What's up guys? Today I want to show you how to cook pizza parigina. It's a particular type of Napolitan pizza. It's a classic pizza dough topped with tomato sauce, baked ham, cheese and is closed on the top. You can use another piece of dough or puff pastry. Let's go! These are the ingredients for one baking tray. These are 474 grams of type 0 flour, caputo nuvola, 380 grams of water, 8 grams of olive oil, 8 grams of salt, 3 grams of sugar, and three grams of Breuer's yeast. First of all, we have to dissolve the yeast into the water. Then we have to add gradually the flour into the water. When you reach this type of consistency, you can add all the salt and all the sugar. After that, we can add all the remaining flour gradually. When all the flour is incorporated into the dough, we have to add the olive oil. We have to do this procedure in order to give strength to the gluten mesh. Now the dough have to rest for 20 minutes, covered with a dish. After 20 minutes, remember to oil the surface and your hands, and we have to do the slap and fold. Okay, other 10 minutes covered with a dish. And then we have to repeat the same procedure. Other five minutes covered with a dish. The dough is stronger, as you can see. Now we have to enlarge the dough this way. And then you have to do from the right to the left, from the left to the right, up, down. Okay. Now we have to put the dough in an oiled container. The dough have to rest into the fridge for 20, 22 hours and have to be closed hermetically. While resting in the fridge, we have to fold the dough in order to give it strength. We have to repeat this procedure after at least three hours for at least three times. Remember to wet your hands. And then we have to put it back in the fridge. I want to show you the quantity of dough that we have to put in a single baking tray for a parigina. For the bottom of the parigina, you have to calculate long side times short side times 0.6. For the top of parigina is long side times short side times 0.5. After resting in the fridge, you have to divide the dough First of all, we have to sprinkle the surface with semolina. First, I want to weigh the bottom of Parigina. These are 365 grams for the bottom. Then we have to close the dough. put in a container closed hermetically and then the top of parigina. These are 304 grams. 
This is the top of the pizza. So this one in a container that will be closed hermetically. The dough have to rest at 25 degrees for three hours. Before cooking, you have to preheat the oven at maximum temperature for at least one hour. The program has to be fun over. This is the result after three hours at 25 degrees. Now we have to stretch the bottom of the pizza parigina. have to start from the border and go inside and then we have to put this dough into the bucking tray in this way you have to remove the semolina a bit then we put here To add the tomato sauce in all the surface. After that, we have to add the baked ham this way, and then the cacio cavallo cheese. Now we have to stretch the top of Parigina. This will be the top of Parigina. And then we have to put it on the top of the Parigina. Now, very important, we have to close all the borders of the Parigina in this way. Now, very important, we have to make some holes with a fork. Now, we have to switch the oven in a static program and we have to cook Parigina for 10 minutes on the bottom of the oven. Now we have to move the pizza in the middle of the oven and we have to cook for other five minutes. Parigina is ready, we have to add the olive oil on the top. Now we have to cut the pizza Parigina. It's really nice. So this is my ear side. If you want, try it too and let me know. Thanks for watching and see you next time.